afternoon. Welcome to today's video on improving your Wi-Fi speed on your Mac. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use a built-in Apple Diagnostics tool to show you the signal to noise ratio and the speed and we're going to optimize the channel in which your Mac communicates with your router. What I'm also going to show you is how to use a third-party app to achieve the same thing. Now from the menu bar hold the Alt key which is between your Control and Command key on your keyboard and click the wireless option. Now this gives you a secret menu bar option which allows you to open wireless diagnostics. Now a window will pop up asking you to ask, enter your password, pop it in, we're not going to do anything dangerous, I just think it wants a little bit more access than normal. Now a wireless diagnostics box will open, we can ignore this, just don't close it. From the menu bar again, select the window option and then select utilities. Now this will bring up sort of utilities that allow you to scan the wireless ether all around you and find out what the best network channel is to operate on as well as a signal to noise ratio. Now there's not many wireless networks around me but it tells me that the best 2.4 gigahertz channel is channel 11 or 6. Now the best 5 gigahertz channel is channel 36 or 40. Now what this tells me is when you set up your router, you tell it which specific frequency to run on. Now what this does is it looks around for other wireless networks and works out what channel they're operating on and tries to find the free channel. I'll show you this in a bit more detail. Now what this tab at the top here, performance, is doing is it's measuring the signal which your Mac is pumping out and then it's measuring how much noise it's also receiving and working out a signal to noise ratio. Now the number on this left hand side is measuring decibels and you want this as high as possible. Mine's currently operating between sort of 31, 30 and 37. Anything higher than 25 decibels is considered very good. Anything higher than 40 is considered excellent. Now what you want to do is on the Wi-Fi scan option is change the settings in your router to the one it says for example channel 11 or channel 6 and within the performance tab here you want to try and get this red line as high as possible. So two stages one is to operate in free space within the ether and the second is to optimize where you put your wireless router or where you're sitting down. Now the second one isn't generally possible but if it's too low, you may have to think about moving the router or the wireless access point or moving your Mac. Now, a cool thing on the left hand side here is it tells you what the TX rate is. That's the transmission rate. And currently I'm operating at 300 megabits a second. That's pretty much as fast as this wireless router will go because it's an end channel router. If you notice that this is dropping down to 240, 200, 60 megabits a second, that's why you're getting slow wireless. You may have the fastest internet in the world or the fastest network, but if your wireless cannot talk to your router quick enough, it's because this value is too low. This value is governed by your signal to noise ratio and by the open channel. Now, there's a second app that I like and it's called Wi-Fi Explorer. You can get it on the App Store, which is in the uh, link is within the comments. Now this does pretty much exactly the same as what the free wireless diagnostics does on your Mac but it has this really cool visual graph at the bottom. Now there's not many networks around here but what it does is it tells me that there's one operating on channel number one and there's a wireless network operating on channel number nine. Now if I've got my own wireless network I'd want to stick it somewhere between four and five so the peak is on its own. Same maybe between number 12. Going back to the wireless diagnostics it says number 11 or number 6. Well, that lines up with this, so that's pretty good. Now, the final tip within this wireless Wi Fi Explorer and improving your wireless is to put it on an empty channel. Now, this is a picture I've got from earlier, and it shows me that there's lots of networks, particularly around number 11. I previously had it on number 11 itself. So, there's lots of networks talking all on the same frequency all talking over each other and you're not going to get a good performance. So that's when you would move it, you'd move this peak so it's on its own. Now the best method I can ever state is to try and be on the 5 gigahertz channel. I've got all this free space to myself 
so it can talk by its own but it also you get sharper peaks now this is better for your transmis transmission rate and generally better for your wireless performance so to summarize you want to put your wireless network within your wireless router settings to peak on its own you want to improve your signal to noise ratio and if possible try and put it on a 5 gigahertz channel if you have any questions usually the best place is to google them or you can leave them below within the video comments and i'll try and answer them hopefully with these small quick tips you can get the best performance possible out of your wireless router